Welcome back to the Japan Fintech Observer. Get ready for a quick hit of the latest news in Japanese finance and fintech. We're diving into the headlines, breaking down the trends, and leaving you with the insights you need to stay ahead of the curve. Let's go. The 36th edition of ZYEN's Global Financial Centers Index has been published, and Tokyo gave up the rank it had gained six months ago, settling back just inside the top 20. The point differentials among the top 20 remain quite small, although the delta to fifth place San Francisco has increased from 15 to 23 points. The ranking is led by New York, London, Hong Kong, Singapore, and San Francisco in the top five. The GFCI is the longest study of this kind, being published semi-annually and hence having 18 years of publication under its belt. The methodology combines 145 quantitative measures provided by third parties, including the World Bank, the Economist Intelligence Unit, the OECD, and the UN, with 37,830 assessments of financial centers provided by 6,188 respondents to the GFCI online questionnaire. From an all-time high third position in March 2020, Tokyo's fall has been quite dramatic, via fourth place in September 2020 and seventh in March 2021, to ninth place in September 2021 and March 2022 dropping out of the top 10 in September 2022 and out of the top 20 in March 2023, with a slight recovery over the past 12 months. This also puts Tokyo into the eighth regional spot behind Hong Kong, number three, one spot up, Singapore, number four, one spot down, Shanghai, number eight, two spots down, Shenzhen, number nine, two spots up, Seoul, number 11, one spot down, and Beijing, number 18, three spots down, the only new entry into the top 20 is Dublin at M14. Also, Osaka at M44 has gained three spots after falling in the previous two surveys. Additionally, the GFCI assessment also asks respondents which centres they consider will become more significant over the next two to three years, with Seoul, Dubai, Singapore, London and Hong Kong leading the pack, while there is no mention of Tokyo among the 15 highest-ranked cities. Among the five areas of competitiveness, business environment, human capital, infrastructure, financial sector development, reputational and general, Tokyo regained its ranking for human capital, number 10, and retained it for reputational and general, number nine, five spots up. Similarly, across the eight industry sector sub-indices, banking, investment management, insurance, professional services, government and regulatory, finance, fintech, trading, Tokyo NAB's five top 15 rankings, for investment management, M12, insurance, M11, government and regulatory, M13, finance, 11, and trading, M14, three more than only a year ago, indicating an upward trajectory. The methodology-driven ranking of the GFCI is augmented with financial center profiling that uses clustering and correlation analysis to identify three measures that determine a financial center's profile along different dimensions of competitiveness, connectivity, diversity, specialty. The 10 global leaders surfaced by this profiling have both broad and deep financial services activities and are connected with many other financial centers. This list includes Tokyo, thus allowing us to keep propagating the global financial city Tokyo Noma with some honor. Lastly, alongside the main GFCI index, ZN also analyzes financial centers in terms of their fintech offering. Here, Tokyo arrested its fall from 15th in September 2022 to 37th in September 2023 by moving up one spot despite losing seven points in the rating.